Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 23 of the uh, Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. Uh, yeah, uh, today I ran uh, four miles, uh, not that much, but up up, uh, up a bridge. I'm beginning my uh, sprint training. Um, I don't have a specific race that I'm training for, but I'm training for a 5K. Um, just working on that speed because I don't... <laughs> honestly, it's because I got rejected from all the, uh, all the New York half marathon stuff, like Brooklyn half and New York City half and all these things. Anyway, if you're not a runner, that's not important. But sometimes I like to give an update just because, um, you know, uh, I think... Look, I, you're here because I'm good at these things, right? At, at uh, programming, I mean. And... I guess it's my way of just being like, okay, look, this is something that I'm struggling with. So, you know, you work on this, I work on that, and, you know, we'll share our uh, struggles together, right? Uh, it's tough, it's tough. But anyway, uh, yeah, so that's the beginning. Uh, not, you know, not that much struggling yet because this is the beginning. Um, but of course, um, you work up to a level in which you are tired and grinding and everything, and every second hurts, right? Um that's what you're looking for. And for me, honestly, um, I feel like, and I almost ran, I ran a, a very fast mile the other day. Um, not my fastest, but that's because I wasn't going for my fastest, but that was faster than I expected. Um, I don't know that I got in better shape, honestly, but what I feel like I'm doing better is just holding on for dear life, if that makes sense. Just just um, getting better at turning off that signal in my head of like, give up. It's okay you can rest, right? And, you know, and, and replacing that with, <laughs> you only have another minute to go. You only have another 0.1 miles to go, or 100 kilometers, or not 100 kilometers, 0.1 kilometers, right? 100 meters, sorry. That 100 kilometers to go might be a little bit demotivating, actually. But yeah, so, you know, uh, I think these are just things that I, I sometimes draw parallels to with lead code grinding, right? It's, um, at the end of the day, yeah, some people run faster than you. Some people maybe work harder than you at any given point in time. But one is that, eh, who cares? It's not a good comparison. But the other thing is also, look, all right, figure out, you know, uh, the people who ultimately run the farthest are the people who don't stop, right? Uh, and I'm not saying, like, you, you have to grind every day. It could be, you know, a couple of times a week, whatever. But, but over years, over months, <laughs> you know, it all adds up, right? Uh, like, people talk a lot about, um, maybe I should do a separate video on this, but people talk a lot about, like, oh, what's the most efficient way to, you know, do X, Y, and Z? And, you know, this is something that, I, and I get it. People want a structure, people want a plan, and there are a lot of lists and stuff, so I, I don't know. I, it's not something that I care about, um, and uh, honestly, it's not how I did it anyway. But look, this is also kind of a math channel, maybe not directly, but there's a lot of math here. Um, then let's do the math. If you, if your training is uh, three times a week, right? Let's say you 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 want to to do the co primes three times a week. That's twelve times a month, right? If you miss one day, what does that mean? That means you only lost about eight percent, right? Uh, of your your workouts or your lead co workouts. The best, best, <clears throat> the best, best, best thing that you can do is like, I don't know, like in terms of efficiency, is like a 2% efficiency would be like amazing for a lot of people, right? Yeah, so at the end of the day, just grind it out. Uh, and don't worry about getting it faster. Some people, you know, maybe like, you know, your, your, uh, your girlfriend's ex-boyfriend is faster than you or whatever. Like, it doesn't matter, right? Like, Focus on yourself, run your own race, work at your pace, but keep going. All right. All right. Let's let's take a look at today's problem. Uh today we have 1267 count servers that communicate. Uh you're given a map of a server center represented as uh R by C integer matrix, where one means that on that cell there's a server and zero means that there was no server. Two servers are said to communicate if they're on the same row or same column. Uh, we turn the number of servers that communicate with any other server. That communicate with other server. Okay. Do, 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 do. Or do you come in with one? Okay. It's a very awkward um, problem, but 
Um, because immediately what I was going to say was that this is connected components, right? But you don't even have to do it that way. I don't think. Maybe. Maybe I'm thinking. Maybe I'm underthinking it, which happens sometimes. Um, because basically, the only way that you cannot communicate with anyone else, because I thought it was going to be a connected components thing, which a similar thing might happen a lot, is that, you know, thinking the inverse, right? The inverse is, okay, well, you can't communicate with any other server if, um, yeah, if it is in on a row or a column, or actually both, sorry, in this case, a row and a column by itself, right? And that's it. Um, maybe you could do something funky, you could do something fancy, I mean, there's only 250 by 250, but I think that observation will allow you to kind of do things in linear time, right? Uh, and how, how do we want to do it? Uh, oh, it's not, we don't, oh. <laughs> as you can see, I, oh, oh, no, 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 this is right, I, I was going, I, I wasn't sure about the input, I was like, oh, I naturally wrote this out, is it because of reflex, or did I, you know, read the prompt correctly, but no, 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 I, I remember reading this, but then I was just like, uh, Man, I should at least double check. But yeah, uh, so then it is a server is if it is a one or zero, a one, right? So this is a server. So maybe we can just do the count of rows and columns. That's it, right? So rows is equal to zero times R, columns is equal to zero times C, right? And in this case, rows of X increment, columns sub uh, Y increment. And then you may ask, well, um, can we? And then now what, right? Can we do something? No, no, I mean, it's fine. You could do it in two pass. I know that um, the, <sighs> historically, and there's a long context for this, right? Historically, um, there is some stuff about, um, what should we call it? Uh, there's some stuff about one pass and all these things. And you have to understand why that is, right? And the reason why people used to care about one pass is because uh, memory locality. Um, because basically, um, if you do a one pass, the most expensive thing that you're going to do is I.O., which is loading objects into memory. You know, and it depends on cache misters and cache structures. You can think about a very simple architecture where there's only one cache, but of course, I know. I know there's a lot of new ones. I'm, I'm just not skipping around. But my point is that that's why people care about one pass. But nowadays, Cash is fast as a, you know, your, your level one cash or whatever, uh, or even on die cash is like so big these days that, uh, you know, don't prematurely optimize is my point, right? I mean, maybe if they may ask you or whatever, but that's fine, right? And that's it. Uh, okay, and then I'm wrong. Oh, uh, hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, may, I, may, I entered the inverse by accident, so okay. So these are the number of uh, things that cannot um, communicate with each other. So it's just the inverse of this, right? Um, so then maybe total count is equal to zero, and then, yeah. And actually, you don't even need that. I mean, you can, of course, but you're going to just do like some of one of the columns, right? or one of the things, right? Because that's it, right? Like, even easier. Um, and it doesn't matter if you do rows or columns, right? Because they should be equal to each other because you have the same amount of, you know, uh, thing. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's all I have with this one. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, can you do this live? I guess so. I mean, I, I think you could do it with one pass if you really want to. You could have a um, uh, some sort of lookup table, right? Um, yeah, I mean, it, I think it's just bookkeeping at that point. But but in doing so, you just lose a lot of advantages of doing it in one pass, depending on all times C, the size of all times C, and maybe your lookup tables or whatever, because you're still jumping memory from all over the place with a hash table, right? That's one of the things that is actually not great about hash tables, at least with uh, uh, big enough hash tables, right? Um, you know, that that is, sometimes people hide it in the, or I guess very often even, people hide that into the constants as a hash table, but that's, uh, you know. But yeah, um, that is all I have for this one. This is going to be linear time, sublinear space, really, right? Because it's all time C uh, time, and space is just R plus C, which is sublinear. Because remember, linear in this case is the size of the input, and the size of the input is R time C. Uh, yeah, I'm going to call it a night. I'm tired. I just got back. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take your mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye.